IKM Annings boys 4x200 relay down here at the straight uh, track meet. Today we'll start off with the guy that opened things up today, Ryan Fox. Ryan, you look pretty good coming out of the blocks. How did you feel things started for you? I thought I started kind of slow, actually. Did you really? Okay. I, I, did. I didn't think I was doing that great to start with, anyway. Okay. Uh, where did you feel like you picked up things and got things going? Uh, towards the middle and probably on the curve a little bit. Okay. Is that kind of normal for you, or are you usually a little better out of the blocks? I like starting out of blocks. Usually, we're right at the start and not like 100 meters ahead <laughs> of it. And it. How much did uh, that affect you? Well, right after the curve, I like to try my hardest, but I had no curve today, so... How did you try to adapt to that? I tried sprinting and about towards the curve, whatever went started. Okay. Try finishing strong. A little hard to hear the starter, too, because I noticed that they were having you guys, you know, on your marks, and you, you kind of popped up out of there and kind of readjusted, yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah. and stuff. So did that, that kind of help you get off to that little slower start, maybe? Probably, yeah. Okay. What's it like running down here, though? What's this atmosphere like? It's amazing. It's just amazing. Having all the people around here. It's just, it's awesome. What are you going to take away from today? Not totally sure. Probably this uh, experience of coming here. I don't know my teammates. Well, Ryan, appreciate you joining us. Good job today. Thank you. Let's move on now to Austin Dahlgrener and the second leg today. Austin. How did you feel like the handoff with Ryan went? It's pretty good. He came in pretty hot, so I got the baton a little bit behind South Central, so I thought I'd just catch up to them. And how did you do on that? You guys looked neck to neck as you guys were coming down the straightaway. Coming down halfway about the home stretch, uh, caught up to him, but I had a little bit of a bigger curve to go down towards the end, towards Noah, so probably had me by a little bit, but I tried catching up to him. How'd you feel out of that first curve? Felt pretty good. I felt like I was going really faster, way faster than a normal track. Do you think that's just running down here in the adrenaline, or what do you what do you put that to? Well, it's my first time, so the adrenaline is pretty crazy. It's, it's insane, really loud. How'd you settle the nerves down today coming into this? Just did my normal stretches, and a couple of my teammates came over to me and just said, kick some butt, so it's calming me down. What event are you looking the most forward to the rest of today? Four by four. Four by four? Right. You guys are going to be pretty strong in that, I imagine. Yeah. We're going to try and beat our school record and place for the finals. So. What is the school record? What can you tell us? 328.5, I think. We were seven tenths away from it last time, so All right. we'll try to get it this time. Well, best of luck with that. We'll talk with you after. Let's talk now with Noah Harlow, third leg today. Noah, how did it go for you? It felt pretty good because usually me and Austin are pretty nervous on our handoffs, but after we did a couple warm-up handoffs, we nailed it. We finally got it. And as it came down to our time to go, and he, South Central's right beside us, and our goal was just to stick with them. And they got it before us. It was my job to basically try catching up, and I inched up as close as I could to catching them. But our handoff was pretty pretty solid. Was that the best handoff you had had all year, you think? Probably. I believe so. Do you contribute that to just a little more focus down here at State? Yep. Just being in with a bunch of eyes watching you, you don't want to screw up. You just want to be solid and perfect. Where did you feel like you were at your best during the race today? Right as I got the handoff and on the curve and, the, and then halfway through the straightaway, and then I just get what I got left. How much did you have left at the end there? I, I, had, I had quite some. If I, the coach always tells me to lean forward and I get an extra gear out of it and I usually do so. And it gets my extra gear going. Help you out today, I guess? Yeah. How did things go in the handoff to Sam? Me and Sam usually have really great handoffs. We really don't have to really stress on it too much. He's, he reaches his hand out and when he feels like it, and I'm always just right there behind him ready. Well, I tell you what, great job today. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Let's catch up now with Sam Wagner. And Sam, how did you feel like things went? You didn't have a lot of time to kind of prepare. You, you finished up in the high jump and literally ran down to where you had to run. Yeah. Did that affect you in your run today? Uh, no, not really. The only thing I wish I could have done maybe is warm up for my actual 4x2 instead of just using my high jump warm up as the race. And, you know, I felt kind of rushed in high jump too, but, you know, it's not really an excuse. I, I, I felt fine. It was Once I got to the time, once I got on the track and in the state of mind of running, it, it wasn't going to affect me. Noah said good handoff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where did you feel like you hit your top gear? Um, I would say probably about the 125 mark, which is what I was trying to do. You know, being in lane eight, uh, you start kind of start out ahead of everybody, but that curve just felt like it took forever. So, you know, I was really focusing on making sure I didn't, didn't hit that extra gear and then die at the end, and I thought I did that. Not used to running out of that curve yeah. out that high. How different is it? Uh, it's, it's, it is kind of, it's it's really different because, you know, yesterday in the 200, I was in the lane one, and then I go to the lane eight for the next 400. So it was kind of, it was quite a bit of change, but, you know, it's all the same distance. And, you know, when you get down here, you're basically just running anyway. You don't really think about 
all that too much. So you know, it can be if you if you let it affect you, it can. But we just kind of do that. Well, Sam, I tell you what, after two events, pretty much like not even back to back, like almost mixed together, we appreciate you joining yeah, us. No problem. Go get some rest. Thank you.